my sons and waters we motherfucking back again i'm like god damn spirit but when spirit say make a move you make a motherfucking move before you let anything get in the way of that shit before you start second guessing and questioning these messages <laughs> so it's feeling the vibes of someone around you that's really motherfucking bitter and i asked spirit why they bitter and then i saw the god of pentacles and they're bitter because you're taking your energy elsewhere and investing it into something that can actually grow investing in yourself even it's feeling the vibes of somebody really pulled back somebody pulled back but they still kept everyone around them in their pl prayers even if they were players i just heard because spirit was about to say players oh just mixed that up yeah they could have they could have caused a lot of mix-ups in your life they could have caused a lot of mix-ups in your life because they're bitter these motherfuckers don't want to see you win without them you're releasing the old and you've been resting you've been in hermit mode just staying to yourself and it's like they're using that against you even though you made this decision for your personal expansion they're taking offense to it like oh why isn't he calling why isn't she calling when they could just worry about their own motherfucking life yeah they're trying to cause some delays they're trying to cause some delays in your life what's trying to come out already spirit courage and distractions yes they're definitely trying to distract you because they see you having the courage to create something that you never did think you were even deserving of i feel like you felt that you weren't deserving of these things because of the people you were around preparation yes you're preparing for a big shift but i do feel the vibes of them preparing them trying to find a way to come in trying to find an opportunity to come in i'm seeing somebody could be causing some sort of bullshit just so you can call them just so you can continue to be dependent on them and run back to them when you're feeling despair you know like when you're going through this rock bottom i'm seeing you're not calling these people anymore you're just going through it on your own and I feel like they see a problem in that too. Like, oh, I wonder who they're going to for their problems now. And I don't feel that you're going to anyone but the divines. You're going within. And they don't like that because it takes away time from you being with them you mm -hmm. helping them i gotta like this i gotta keep this lit hold up give me a second like i was feeling the vibes heavy of someone even calling saying that they want to kill themselves i'm sorry to say that but like someone's even getting to that point when this has nothing to do with them so it's so weird i feel like there's something wrong with their head they have some healing that they need to go through but i do feel like you know you're gonna be in the middle of work trying to get back on your feet and they're gonna call about some bullshit because they're hurting they're hurting that you're focused on finding stability which is just so sad and heartbreaking for people to do that you're working on yourself and they're hurting 
but I, I did hear someone saying that they they want to end their life just so you can come to them and save them but I feel like they have big karmic debt that they have to pay off and whatever they're feeling is between them and source why they better I mean we already seen why they better because you coming up on top you got your head in the game you're not even worried about these people yeah because you're the empress because you're birthing something new you're doing things differently than you used to you used to be naive and vulnerable it was easy for them to leech off you, leech off your energy. Because it was all love and light back then. But now you're like, nah, it, we need light and dark. Things need to be balanced. Because the scales were tipping way off balance. And I feel like it tipped so hard that they're catapulting you forward. Yes, forward. It's like they're guiding you right to your soulmate, guiding you towards someone that can reciprocate the energy you put out. What you put out will be coming right back to you. And I feel like that's what those other people are worried about too. They're knowing that what they've been putting out is coming back to them and it's haunting them. It's haunting them. They wish they did better. Yeah, because they're greedy and stingy and controlling and possessive. I'm seeing they could have been giving to you, but they're doing it in a greedy way. They were they were giving to you like you were some sort of beggar, like you were a peasant, like you were a bum. They wasn't giving it to you from the heart. Queen of Pentacles. Yep. They were giving it to you with strings attached in hopes that you wouldn't, there was conditions to this giving. You were like their fountain of youth, I just heard. It's like they were throwing coins in you. Yes, I'm seeing you as the fountain because here's the star. They were throwing, you're this lake, you're this fountain of youth. And they had access to you every day to throw their coins in. Expecting something in return, right? Expecting a wish in return. And it's like, I feel like the divines totally stopped it. The divines capped them off and it's like they were still putting money in. And there was no abundance coming in. I'm even seeing this lake running dry. And that's in the vibe of you no longer having these emotions for this people. No longer emotionally attached. Emotionally codependent to them coming to you for healing. Oh, shit. That was rough. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. yeah independent they're trying to learn how to be independent mm-hmm healing, supporting, honoring your energies. I'm seeing like things could have been rough, you know, but you tried your best to just do things solo. Honoring how you feel and honoring what the divines are guiding you to do and guiding you to not do. I'm hearing they were, I'm feeling the vibes Heard it from a little bird again, yeah. They were bringing you messages of what's been going on in the dark. What's 
what's been hidden from you they were they were telling you and maybe you couldn't you couldn't really see it but you could feel it you could sense that something was off you could sense that when you started to pull back it was like the vampires were getting hungry they were getting feisty they were getting aggressive yeah look at that i could feel it they were getting fucking aggressive they were playing the victim when you were the victim Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You were the victim. They tried to keep you out of character to block out your victory. Keep you guarded. You were the motherfucking victim. But I do feel that there's some sort of healing here that needs to be done. Some sort of healing that needs to be done within this situation. I'm hearing guiding your inner child back home. Yeah, there could have a lot of mother and father. I'm seeing like the, oh wow, mother and father wounds here. Baby mama, baby daddy energy as well. It's like somebody. You took your energy and offered it elsewhere and you left someone hanging. You left someone in a drought, I just heard. But it was for a reason. It was for also that bitter person to not be codependent on you. seeing even like forgiving the father and I'm seeing like traditions there could be some sort of I know I just got totally lost in here like oh shit things are coming in okay yeah I just saw okay there's a cycle that's being completed I saw the wounded warrior ten of swords in reverse healing some sort of tradition some sort of traditional way of doing things oh wow holy moly i didn't even see this okay but oh i'm seeing okay so that could be that father mother wound like i'm seeing somebody asking someone's dad for someone's hand in marriage i know this totally went somewhere else but it was going there anyways. But this person could be afraid of someone's father. Afraid of someone's baby dad even. I'm seeing someone's father may not be there anymore. So maybe they're having to, maybe there was some sort of issue. With. With the baby dad or mom. And someone's asking someone's baby dad for their permission to date this feminine. For the feminine, there could be, yeah, I'm seeing baby dad energy heavy though, so I don't want to mix it up. Wow. And I was like wondering, like, where are those brave masculines? Like, are they out there? <laughs> are they out there? I think they're out there, but it's the feminine that needs to put their guards down. Cause like I was saying, there's something that needs to be healed and ended here. That codependent energy. I'm even seeing someone being codependent to their parents. Or baby dad, baby mom. Being codependent on them. 
being okay with it or something. Them giving you the okay. And I feel like there could have been a time when someone gave you the hell no. But they were actually your two of cups. This is going all over the place. Like, I shouldn't even have paused. I should have kept going. Mm -mm. Wow, I'm so glad this came up because I was seeing that the other day in my head. That someone was asking. Another masculine was asking a masculine for someone's hand in marriage. And I was thinking, where are the brave men? I know I'm going back again. Where are the brave men? Like, do they do that anymore? Are people okay with setting someone free so they can have better? Setting someone free in hopes, in in hopes that their wishes will come true that could be that bitter energy right someone setting you free or someone not wanting to set you free knowing that you deserve better but i'm seeing that's your wish that's what you wished for someone may have been wishing to be saved someone could have been wishing for someone to ask for their hand in marriage Fucking wishing for a letter, a fuck, a message, anything, a sign. Whew. I heard she's my wish fulfillment. I'm her wish fulfillment. Can I can I take her? Can I have her? Wow, this is the magician. So it's something someone manifested. And I feel like someone's at a crossroads because they're not understanding how what they manifested showed up at their doorstep. Wow. Didn't that sound like a motherfucking knock? Showed up at your motherfucking doorstep. And they gonna say, can I talk to your dad? Oh my god, the hierophant again. Can I speak to your father? Like, you thinking that they're coming there for you? But they're coming for your dad. To ask for your hand. To ask for... Even their permission to date you. But I'm seeing this as a marriage card. Oh. Yeah, I feel like that could be what is hidden as well. Oh my gosh, I'm shivering. Someone's feeling... Oh. Someone wants to take you home. Someone wants to create a home with you, a whole life with you. And they want to do it the traditional way I'm seeing. <sighs> and if they're not literally asking your father, your baby dad, your baby mom, I'm seeing them even asking, like, God, whoever they call upon. Like, I don't think I ever hear, I mean, I don't know, I'm not aware of it, but I never did see if anyone asked God, like, God, is it okay if I have her hand in marriage? 
and then they wait for a sign and they say thank you and they do it look and they do it and that's a sign from spirit you don't see anyone behind this coming out of the blues a sign that it's time to move forward it's time to communicate how they feel Oof. justice the scales being balanced catapulting you into your happily ever after mm -hmm. exactly i'm done catapulting you into your happily ever after opening up the floodgates to something new something that you were diverted from in the past getting the recognition you deserve the victory the success them recognizing exactly who you are recognizing what you want recognizing that you're their wish fulfillment mm -mm -mm. You're their two of cups. Angels and ancestors. Let's get one message for the collective. I'm just going to do this. Wow. Protection guardian, drop your shields. Whew. Beautiful. It's time. It's time. It's time to release. Oof. This is a collective reading, so it may or may not resonate. If you want to book a personal reading, that information is found in the description box. It's preparation time. Oh my gosh, there's the two of cups. I'm going to see what's, oh my god, four of wands, and I'm going to see what was beneath. Wow. What was beneath it is you walking away from everything that's already served its purpose walking away from emotional attachments to people that are in the past two of cups and four of wands ending it like that with the stability temperance six of pentacles your wish fulfillment mm, mm, mm. beautiful energy i love it 